Hello, so now we are on to our third in our series of body shape videos and um, Jo and I have met up with Teresa and uh, Teresa is very um, self-conscious of her bust so this is a new challenge of looking at some kettlebell styles to suit her. Um, she does know that she's a spring, um, she's been working with her colours for several years now so um, how did you get on? So yeah, so Teresa's really comfortable with her colours, she's been wearing them for years, she knows the stuff with that, but what she wanted to do was to explore some styles that made her feel comfortable. As, as you said, Melissa, she's got a large bust, so she's slightly more top heavy, although she's petite, um, she's very aware of this bust area and kind of keeping this nice and open, not feeling, kind of getting overheated or feeling frumpy with covering all of this up. So what we worked with was putting together layered and casual and smart looks that all help flatter her bust, keep her waist looking nipped in and fitted, because she's more petite, fitted her really, really well um, and kept those pops of colours that worked so well for her spring palettes. Fantastic. Okay, so our third body shape, we've got Teresa here. Um, we've got a whole new body to dress, a whole new person to style. And Teresa, you're really familiar with your colours, aren't you? You're comfortable with your colours. Yeah. But the dealing with your body shape, you said you've got a few kind of body shape sort of challenges that you've yes. kind of presented me with today. Yes. Tell me a little bit more about your body shape and how, what you struggle with when you're dressing, what you like and don't like. Okay, well, I'm only five foot tall, which is problem in itself. <laughs> I'm very busty okay. uh, and struggle with finding tops that do up, that aren't swamping me, that are too high in the neck. Okay. They're no good really. Um, and also, obviously being short, I can't find trousers and stuff very easily. They're all too long. Okay. All right, so that was this kind of the set of challenges. We've got, you've got the, the bust that we need to deal with, finding things that fit, that feel nice and open up here, because I know you like a bit of kind of glitz and glamour, yeah, so yeah, finding things that give us room for a necklace, <laughs> a little bit of cleavage, things like that. Yes. Um, but finding things that still fit the rest of your body shape is our challenge for today. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So, Teresa, we know you're a spring. You love the bright, colourful colours. We've got your rail of spring colours here. Yeah, I know you really enjoy the kind of yeah. embracing the bright and bold and beautiful colours. Yeah, definitely. So, the first top we put you in to kind of make the most of your natural body shape, you've got, you know, to give you an open neckline with your with your bust to kind of flatter your bust uh -huh. um, and a more feminine shape. We've put you in the peplum top. How do you feel in it? What do, what do you feel about it? I really like it. Yeah, I really like it. I think it shows off my waist quite well, mm. which is nice because it's normally hidden away. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like it and I can wear a necklace with it uh, quite easily. Kind of dress it up. Shows, yeah, yeah. Dress it up. Or dress it down. Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's a great versatile really. top. Yeah. And we looked at a few top options for you, didn't we? So the other one, one of the other ones we looked at was the faux wrap, the crossover. And something that we talked about with this was maybe wearing a camisole underneath if it felt a bit open yeah. with your bust to keep that lovely open neckline. but. You know, make it a bit more suitable for everyday office wear was to put a camisole and it's a great way for springs to get another pop of colour in as well yeah. um, and then for more casual options still keeping that lovely open neckline so that it's you know flattering for the for your larger bust but still kind of highlighting your waist a more casual option is the Cara T which although it's got a more relaxed fit tucks in really nicely at the front because it's, it's got nice. that lovely slinky and fabric. It's got a nice detail that on the back as yeah, well. Yeah, it's, it's got a really pretty. Yeah, it means it's not quite just a plain top. It's yeah, just, it's, it's a bit more pretty, better. a bit more elegant yeah. and again they'll both work well with Pretty yeah. necklaces and yeah. um, right. those lovely spring colours. So for our next look, Teresa, we wanted to kind of play with sort of breaking up the lines a little bit more, going for a bit more of a layered look, but still keeping that neckline lovely and open and flattering your bust. Yeah. Um, and what we found is that adding some layering really, really helps. But because you're petite, we didn't want to kind of put too much length and drown you with one of these great long cardigans. <laughs> yeah. So we've gone for a short cascade and paired it with that lovely open cowl neck. And I think the combination of the, the combination of colours and the shapes work really, really well for you. That extra length. How do you How do you feel in it? I really like it. It's very comfortable, and I do feel the heat quite a lot. So I can at least take this, <laughs> yeah. take this one off and then be cool because it's it's sleeveless. Yeah. Um, I think the the ruching's nice over my tummy. Yeah, it's, it's lovely quite, and flattering. Yeah, it's quite flattering. And the yeah. other option, um, when you're looking at something that's comfortable in your tummy, I know we talked about it earlier, and you said you weren't so comfortable in just a one layer kind of yes. thin camisole. Yeah. But actually, the double layer sleeveless fee is great if you're not feeling so comfortable with your tummy area because. It's got that double layer which gives it a lovely smoothing effect and then again a different shape of the um the bolero top rather than the short cascade yeah, definitely. again works with somebody who's more petite that helps break up that bust line a little bit yeah um and again lovely color too <laughs> 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 yes. okay 
How do you, I mean, do you feel that, or has this sort of given you some new ideas, helped you come up with some new sort of ways of wearing your colours? Yeah, yeah, it has actually, because I don't think I would have, I wouldn't have tried on this cowl, I don't mm. think. I would have felt too top heavy in it, but with this over it, I feel absolutely fine. It's really nice and it's, um, it's comfortable, not too hot. It, Brilliant. It's really nice. And I, again, I can wear it quite casually, which is more me. I'm, Great. I don't dress too overdress that very often, yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for kind of coming along and trying out different things well, and um, kind of having a bit of an adventure with it all. We really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it fun. Thanks. Thanks.